As the Royal Langkawi International Regatta reaches its third day, all crews were anticipating and ready for the most challenging race of the week. The Round the Island race, as its name implies, takes the fleet on a 24-mile racetrack weaving around several islands off Kua Harbour, finishing just in front of the host club. A shorter 19-mile course is set for the IRC2 fleet that sees them finish at about the same time as the rest. Today basically is a round island and a very long course. It's more fun for us, uh, more tricky because uh, we need to, uh, to face uh, wind shifting beside the uh, uh, long journey around the island. But with our local knowledge, uh, will be an advantage to for us. Breezy downwind star promised a fast race that would have the fleet back in port just after midday. The record for this course was set by Jellic last year in an impressive 2 hours 14 minutes and 53 seconds. With Jellic not here to defend that record, the challenge was on the shoulders of Oi to beat that record, or at least beat their own time from last year of 2 hours 30 minutes and 38 seconds. They did just that, shaving 11 seconds off their own personal best. Records are something, if it happens, it's great, but uh, it's certainly not the focus. The focus is just to sort of be competitive against the other boats and uh, to get a good result. Records are not the main thing in this race. It's a week-long series and every point in every race counts. Something that Niels Degenkolf on Phoenix knows well, since he's competed at the Royal Langkawi International Regatta since 2004, crewing in all different types of boats. In comparison, the crew of Island Fling are fresh to this event and were expecting difficulties navigating around the islands today. Experience matters, particularly in a long distance race. Tricky parts, I guess, um, were probably the bottom end of the island where there is a transitional zone uh, where you get two converging breezes. Um, and basically, it got very light there at one, well, well, as we were going through, unfortunately. So people made big gains and big losses there. Having a marina full of happy sailors that want to return year on year is important for a regatta. The organisers know that well and do their best to ensure the event is run at the highest level racing and socially. We started the regatta in 2003. Okay, moving on 13 years now, um, our intention initially was to have a sailing event, something for the community of Langkawi. Win is something that's beyond um, our form of organisation, but in terms of um, race management, social events, this is where we are putting in all effort to make it into a boutique regatta. For us, what matters most is the end of the day, we would like to see the participants going back happily and returning back again. With only two days remaining in the 13th Royal Langkawi International Regatta, the tension is building to a climax between the teams. Who will win each division? Stay with us to find out.